Uh, wow, Barry, that was uh, just um, brilliant. Thank you very, very much. And And thank you also, of course, uh, Dame Edna. Dame Edna has always been, for me, a warming source of wisdom and maternal-like advice. <laughs> Relevant to our American friends in the audience tonight, she has asked, please don't judge Australia by Australians. Barry, you are incredibly busy, and your presence here tonight shows both your commitment to the American Australian Association and to the work they do, and also to just what lengths mates will go for one another. Thank you so very much. Thank you. In fact, it is great to see so many old mates and great friends here tonight. Ambassador Hockey and Melissa, Ambassador Barry, Chairman Nason, uh, Anthony, Bob, Deb, Lisa, thank you for being here. And congratulations to Andrew on his richly deserved Lifetime Achievement Award. And also, just how brilliant was that performance by Harry Connick Jr. and his band? Now, I, I must also thank Peter Credlin uh, for tearing herself away from her Sky News Australia studio uh, to MC tonight. You've certainly made the Prime Minister very happy. In fact, uh, he has offered personally to endow scholarships for any Sky News presenter to travel and study abroad permanently. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for coming here tonight and helping support the AAA. We are here to celebrate and nurture the unique relationship between Australia and America, a relationship that is more than just a common friendship based on convenience, but is rather a special relationship born out of shared experience, mutual respect, and unconditional assistance. Well, officially, at least according to the website australia.gov.au, those values are the very definition of mateship. Shared experience, mutual respect, unconditional assistance. Our two countries share, as much as two nations can, a common outlook, a can-do, practical, egalitarian, sports-mad approach to life, even if the sports we play are one of the few major differences between us. I think the score in the game tonight nice won all uh, as a few minutes ago in the World Series. <laughs> we share a rule of law, strong liberal democracies, and belief in core freedoms. We look in the mirror and see versions of each other lightly disguised. And we measure ourselves against each other, against the benchmarks of behavior and performance we set for one another. No country feels as comfortable for an American to visit as Australia, and there is no country where Australians are more welcome than America. That comfort and mutual respect for one another is perhaps one reason why the U.S. is by far Australia's biggest foreign investor. The inward investment from the U.S. into Australia was last year close to 900 billion Australian dollars. And if you add the total Australian investment back into the U.S. at over 600 billion dollars, the two-way investment stands at 1.5 trillion, which coincidentally is the size of Australia's GDP. But while our economic relationship is impressive and our cultural empathy runs deep, it's our commitment to stand side by side to defend the values we share, which is most extraordinary. After forging an early diplomatic and military partnership with Australia, Teddy Roosevelt, wrote in his autobiography, I have, as every American ought to have, a hearty admiration for 
and fellow feeling with Australia. And I believe that America should be ready to stand behind Australia in any serious emergency. Our two nations have fought shoulder to shoulder in every major conflict since. U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis, when he was commander in Afghanistan, wrote of the Australian SAS, we Americans would happily storm hell itself with your troops on our right flank. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has described the U.S.-Australian alliance as the bedrock of Australia's security. And America has no better friend than Australia, tweeted President Trump. Across trade, investment, military alliance, intelligence sharing, research collaboration, common values, and social interaction, the U.S. and Australia are uniquely close among the great nations of the world. It was with great foresight that 70 years ago, Sir Keith Murdoch and other early members of the American-Australian Association began their work fostering the relationship that exists today. Over that time, Technology has only driven the world smaller and more compact, making this relationship ever more important, and I believe, ever more potent. Which is why we are here tonight, helping to fund the scholarships that bring Australian and American scientists, scholars, journalists, and veterans to each other's shores and universities. With each new shared idea between Australian and American researchers, we are a little closer to curing a debilitating disease or enhancing crop fertility. Take some time to read about the accomplishments and dreams of the students we honor here. From the fields of whale sustainability to Alzheimer's research, from nanotechnology to screenwriting, this year's fellows are truly an impressive class. And as much as I am humbled to be honored by this organization tonight, I know that the real honorees are the new generation of leaders you are encouraging with your support and your presence here this evening. Thank you. <laughs>